welcome you to today's special episode of this unique program. You talk with Mary Olabi. I sincerely pray that the Lord's plans and purpose for you, especially in today's unique episode, is released to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I remain Mary Olabi. The unique of its kind topic that the Holy Spirit has given to us to shortly discuss together with you today is a way to righteousness. Wow. A way to righteousness. When we say awake, what do we mean by the word awake? Awake means to change states. Awake. Change states. Turn. Turn to this side or to change state from where you have before. To be completely conscious. That is to awake. To be alert. To be alarmed. To be watchful. That is to be awake. Awake to righteousness. And to be righteous means to morally justify, to be upright, to be just, to be good. So, and the word righteousness means to adhere to moral principles. That is righteousness. Awake to righteousness. That is, turn to live right. Be conscious to live a moral life. Awake to righteousness. Change your state of life to that of a morally justified life. Be watchful of your lifestyle. That is what it means to be awake to righteousness. That is to be conscious that there is a life after this life. Awake to righteousness. If you check what the scripture says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 34. It said awake to righteousness. And sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak of this to your shame. Remember that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Awake to righteousness. It's important for you to note. Are you hearing me? That. If you have not been sleeping, I don't think this word will come from the Lord to you this moment. The Lord said, away to righteousness. So, I called you also to awake to righteousness. That is, rise to the ways of righteousness. To a holy life, to sound doctrine. It may mean as it is right and just for you to do. Awake. Be alarmed, for you are surrounded by dangers and by those who will lead you into errors and vice. Before I continue, because I believe God, as I'm trusting Him, that your life won't be the same. It will open your heart of understanding more today to the truth of His word and to the state of your life. And to where he has designed for you to be. Yes, you are a child of God. You want you to go deeper in him. Yes, it, you are still struggling with little, little things around your life. He want to by himself deliver you by his power. And I pray that his spirit will take over your entire being today. To his own glory in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not the only one in the studio. Just I have said, with me is Bro Ayodeji Bayere. He was recently in the studio. Sometimes not quite long in, from now. And it's here again to dish out to you the mind of the living God concerning this topic. I pray that you will take your home from out of the abundance the Lord has released to him in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. I hear you saying amen. 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 So welcome with me, Boayo. Deji Bayere is a seasoned child of God and a teacher of the word. Is a leader of the youth. The Lord will bless you through his ministration today in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Brian, you are welcome with me today. Thank you for having me. 
Mm. Their last time was awesome. Glory to God. I want to use that word also. I saw this kid manifested himself even in the studio that day. I I I saw you speaking so deeply the man of God. And I pray that your knowledge will increase in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I also pray that the youth out there listening to you, they will richly be blessed from that which the Lord has deposited once more again in you in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. We talked about awakening to righteousness. What's your take? Or what's your perspective? What's, what, what can you say about this topic? Can you speak more about this topic? Awake to righteousness. The topic uh, before us today, awake to righteousness. First, I have to extreme my life. Because I see God unveiling the current state of man to us. Telling me my current position. Mm -hmm. And as we go in the journey of this discussion, I want every viewer to begin to assess his or her life. Because if God is calling at this time for us to awake to righteousness, number one is a balanced topic. Mm -hmm. Awake. And he's telling you what he demands from you. You are not just waking to do anything you like. Mm. You are not just waking to make your normal life. Mm. No. He said, awake to righteousness. to righteousness. That means there is a point in our life where we are start sleeping. Or possibly we've dozed off. Mm. Fine. We started very well. Mm. In the journey of life, we started well. We were committed. But at the moment, we are beginning to lose strength. We are beginning to look back. Mm. We are beginning to consider, should I continue? Should mm. I stay? Mm. And this call comes to us. To start with, what is spiritual sleep? Because if someone is calling us to wake to righteousness, that means it's not just the physical sleep that we are sleeping. Mm. That means we are still walking normal. Our eye is open. But in the spirit realm, another picture is what God is saying. Mm. So to be spiritually asleep means that your body, your mind... I'm sorry, if I can get you, you are trying to say, before the Lord will say you need to awake to righteousness, yeah. you must have been sleeping. And it means that it's not that you are just sleeping on your bed or you are dozing in your home. Mm. It means that there is a spiritual sleep that's so, going on. Okay. And the essence for me pointing out the signs or to know that you are spiritual asleep so that you won't sit there and say, this topic is not for me. Mm. After all, I go to church. I still pray. I still do my offering. The, this few things and many more that I will mention, when you see it playing out in your life, it means that you are spiritually asleep. Number one, your mind, your body, your nervous system no longer become active to holiness. Mm. Anything about holiness gets you irritated. You mm. don't even want to hear it. Mm. Before they start it, you are angry. He, he, he shows that you are spiritually Not asleep. that you want to. It just comes. You, you are it, just, looks, it looks natural to you. Are just so you are just inactive to holiness. Then mm. your eye, the eye that allows you to see, they are close to holiness. They are totally close. No wonder in the scripture, he said, as long as they refuse to retain God, in their knowledge, he gave them to a reprobate heart. So, when your eye is close to holiness, you automatically allow sin to slide. Mm. Just give it away. Is mm. you doesn't bother about it again. And the third thing you will notice is your consciousness becomes practically suspended. Your consciousness of holiness 
mm. becomes practically suspended. I heard a story and I almost start crying. We were nominated to go and represent some few bodies. And the leader who was going to resign said, this place you are going, ah, there is this who oh, is total war though, that you see me, is a pastor and he owns a church. He said, Why, when I assume this office, I tell God, I say, please, so oh, I'm hanging issue of heaven. Jesus. Permit me to take I, this are you office. Real? Real. Real. Permit me to take this office. After I resign, I will come and pick the journey of heaven again. Then inside me, I was crying. What if you die in the process? So that's to tell you that you are spiritually even if you did not asleep. Die in the process, it's not likely to. Me. So the consciousness of holiness gradually you suspend it. Mm. Then mm. awake to righteousness. Looking at that passage very well, that First Corinthians you, 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 fifteen you, you, you thirty-four. You spoke about spiritual sleeping. Yes. First Corinthians fifteen thirty four, King James says, "Awake to righteousness and sin not." Instruction: When you wake up, the walk you are taking is living right, and as you began to live right, sin no more. Just like Jesus told that lady when they want to stone him, he said, "Where are your accuser?" He said, "They are gone." He said, "Okay." I myself do not condemn you. Go, say no more. Mm. So, NIV say, come back to your sense. Mm. Because there's possibility that when you sleep, you, everything shut down. Come back. So, as sense. you wake, you regain your sense. That consciousness mm. of holiness that you've suspended, you are picking it back. Another translation say, become awake to righteousness and keep yourself from sin. I have another translation here. He said, come to your right mind and sin no more. So, looking at this translation, let's now come back home. What does it mean to be awake to righteousness? To righteousness? One is to come back to the truth and reality that we are the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody deceive you that you cannot be righteous. Mm. His righteousness has been imputed on us. Hallelujah. Wow. We are in calf I love this. to this body. Mm. Another thing, to wake to righteousness means to be alive to a new life and a new creation. Because it brought to us new life. It brings us into a new relationship. That associate yourself with this. Walk in it. The license, it has been bought. Be part of this. So when they say awake to righteousness, another word is reminding you to wake up and know your rights. That is the key. Mm, that is the key. Because mm. we are no longer slaves to sin. Somebody had paid the price. And he says, sin cannot intimidate us. Because he has no room in my mortal body. Awake to new life. Get to know your right in Christ. You can be righteous. The people living righteous, they don't have two heads. You can be, you are a child of God. The DNA of Christ is in you. Just awake. Wake up. Be conscious of who you are. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. So what are the signs of spiritual slumber? Number one, you no longer get interested in the things of God again. Mm -hmm. Things of God is no longer a priority to you. Because the one who is sleeping doesn't walk. And because you are sleeping, you are not active in the business of where you are supposed to. So everything becomes shut down and they don't work again. Mm -hmm. So the moment you begin to see that feeling, that read your scripture is no longer a priority. Pray. You say, I will pray later. Or when you want to read Bible 
you are spending just just to check your status and the rest you are spending 30 minutes before you know it is one hour when you notice that we manifest more of the work of flesh mm. is a sign that you are sleeping spiritually mm. things you said before i surrender them gradually you are going into it <laughs> you the site you said i was not going again you deleted them there's there's now beginning to be a desire to download them back again places you don't go before you say it doesn't matter mm. let me just go mm. you began to associate issues that you are spiritually asleep is a sign mm. when you no longer hungry for spiritual food he mm. <laughs> said these things cannot come to pass except through prayer and fasting mm. they say pray say we have prayed Come for service. I can what attend what? services on my Online. mobile phone. And the same God said, you should not forsake the assembly. And it's not like you are busy. There are instances where you actually don't have that platform mm. to congregate together. Mm. But this, you are just, you live your normal free life. Things of God is no longer... It's, anything it's, for it's, you it's, it's, you no it's, longer I'm, I'm hear god say, again i'm sorry to say to shipping it's on sunday you want to sleep and sleep and sleep because Normal, it's a day of rest it's a day of rest it's on sunday you want to wake up at nine and ten so that you can rest from the day, day the week no no personal meditation no quiet time mm. these are signs that you 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 no longer hear god some said ah those days if i dream it comes to pass. But why are you not dreaming again? God speaks to you. Today now is my mind, see? Today now is... I'm not disputing the fact that we need to have a mentor and run to them. But directly... You know, Eli taught somewhere to I hear God. See. To hear God. So you no longer hear his voice again. Please, yes, viewer, yes. if these Papa. things are happening in your life is a sign that spiritually you are sleeping mm -hmm. and there's a call to waking up mm -hmm. <sighs> i wake to righteousness it's becoming deeper and deeper but i only ask that in the holy spirit of god whom alone can wake us up all that spirit will come upon you to give you understanding of what the Lord is saying at this moment in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to ask this question. I want to stay awake. I wanted to ask for dangers, but I, I think it's, 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 we should know how do we stay awake to righteousness. <laughs> Number one, there's a principle and is embedded in the word of God. You know, I don't know because this is so. If this is a practical question, how do we do it? We have been talking, stay awake, don't do this. These are the signs. But how do we do it? How do we find ourselves as youth? How do we find ourselves into being awake into these things we are talking? This thing the Lord is. How do we do it? How do we find ourselves in it? So it's an uh, there is an effort that as a person we need to put into practice. If I'm preparing for exam, for instance, mm. I want to do TDD, read today break. I don't want to Which sleep. You read today break. Okay, so and go write your exam. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there, there are techniques. Mm. That oh, let me put water. I put my leg. Some take some tea. Coffee. That take call, uh, sleep away. That's the effort man is putting to chase natural sleep so that they can achieve their purpose. The same thing, if you also want to be spiritually awake, there are exercises. It is not automatic. It's not that it's just imputed on you. Number one, I love this. you must become a friend of the Bible. He said, this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth. You will meditate in it day and night. The same effort you put not to go to sleep physically, mm. the same effort we are requiring here 
study your Bible, understand the Bible. You, you, you make it your partner. He told Timothy, he said, study to show yourself a proof. To God, a workmanship that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly, that word right indicates that you would have gone to level of meditation. So that's number one thing. Mm. Two, prayer will help. Prayer will help. Prayer will help. Become a person of prayer. Pray. Jesus, even though he was God himself, he prayed. Midnight, while others are sleeping, he will go and pray. And the Bible said he prayed to a level that what sweat was coming out of. I, I noticed something in the ministry of Jesus Christ. After that, he was baptized. And even heaven declares he was God. The Bible says heaven opened. And he said, he went straight to the wilderness. Because there cannot be manifestation if we have not said to it in the secret place. Mm. He went to the wilderness to pray. So prayer we help. You also need to involve the Holy Spirit. Because he's our companion. He's the one to wake you up. Is the one to tell you, do this, do that. So when you get regular it's, instruction, is the one to wake you up. <laughs> yes. So you, you when you get regular instruction, it allows you to be active. Someone who is not active can easily sleep. Mm. But someone who is active can hardly fall to sleep just like that. So you involve the Holy Spirit in whatever you do. Okay. You also need to be watchful. And strengthen the things that remain. Talking to the churches in Revelation, he said that little thing that remains, strengthen it so that it will not die. Like you have lost all, but you can still pray. Develop that prayer life. You are struggling with prayer, but you can still read your Bible. Develop that reading. <laughs> As you develop that, others will come in, into it. So that little thing that remains. Strengthen it mm. because God has the capacity, those things that you, you stop doing, uh, well, they will come in. It means that you are not dead. Mm. He's just sleeping. You are not you dead. Are you just need a situation to arise again. You just need a situation to tap you. So that little that is remaining, you strengthen it. Then you hold fast mm. and repent. When Holy Spirit is unfolding, my son, you can't do this. Possibly wrongly, you have doing you, you've fallen into it, knowingly or unknown. Mm. You are prick. You submit immediately. David, he said, It is me that have sinned. Why will you punish the people of Israel? Bring the punishment on me. And he said, Take not your Holy Spirit on me. But do you see Saul? He said, I know I've sinned, but honor me. It was after honor. So a mind who is fast to repentance, mm. a mind who we accept and say, God, I'm sorry, then mm. your garment must be clean every time, mm. every time. Mm. Then lastly, obedient. Wow. Obedient. The Bible said, and Abraham obeyed God. He was counted to him as righteousness. Mm. He was not righteous, but the activities of obedience earn him righteousness. And automatically, the righteousness of God was imputed on him. So activities like this, obedience, prayers, studying your scripture, listening to God, strengthening the little that remains will help you to be actively awake. Wow. Kali Ah, Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have heard it. He has spoken so much. He has given the mind of God to you. You need to rewind and rewind this. Go to our social media and do that is go, scrolling through the screen. Watch it and listen to these things again. How to be awake. How to undo what is yours. He said it from the beginning. To be awake to righteousness is to be conscious of your right in the kingdom. To take back what belongs to you. That is what it means. The Lord just wants you to fulfill purpose. That's what it means. The Lord just 
want you to be the one to rule your world. That's just what it means. The Lord just doesn't want the devil to dictate to you any longer. That is what it means to be awake to righteousness. To be awake, you give us almost like seven, eight points, if I'm right. The Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will take back that which belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You think you can't get there. You can surpass those that have gone ahead of you. I want to give you that assurance. And the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow, wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. I, I don't know. I don't even know if you have actually answered this question, but I don't know because you have said so many things about um, how to stay awake. But I, I want to say, why must we be awake? I know I don't. I think I can see how that. Why must we be awake? Because you've told us how to be, how to practically launch ourselves into that realm of awakening, awakening. So why must we be? Could that be benefit? Can I say those are the benefit of being awake? Uh, or why? Why we need to awake, especially at this time, is the fact that the time is fast approaching. Mm. He said, I come quickly. Because if he meets you sleeping, you are not qualified. Just like the and the one the who is the one who is sleeping cannot occupy. He said, Occupy till I come. And in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14, he said, Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Number one, the person sleeping has already be, uh, I don't know the best word, you are now counted as a dead person. The scripture said sir, that, he said, arise from the dead. Because the state you are qualify you to be a dead person. Mm. Then when you now wake, there is a lighting that is waiting. Mm. That light cannot come until you wake. He said, and Christ shall give thee light. Because the state you were then was a dark state. You do not see. You don't know what is happening. Mm. But light comes immediately yeah. for you, for your speed wow. to move faster. Mm. Again, another thing is that Satan is always at mm. work. I, I, I'm sorry. You said light comes immediately you are awake. Yes. It means that you can get direction. That's, I think that's what the Spirit is dropping. It means that the direction you need, the, 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 the instruction you need to make it right, the secret things you need is when you are awakened to righteousness. I think that's what so you're saying. Only those who will enjoy this light are those who are awake, those who are alive. We will not give light to death because it's not useful for them. Then another thing, reason why we need to wake and stay away is we should understand that the enemy... They are always active and working. So we are not wrestling with the, flesh, the, the, the physical man we can see. But they are powers. Mm -hmm. They are principality. Satan at every point is working. And the Bible said, why men slept? <gasps> His enemy came and so tears. So why men slept? Another reason is to take back uh, 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 our uh, destiny. Why, why, I'm sorry. Yeah. Why men slept? His enemy, enemy came. came. So that was the major reason why there have been issues in your life. Because you have been sleeping. Believe me, if you are not sleeping, the Lord will not bring this into it. Yes, it seems as if everything is going fine. We need to diligently search our life. You need to diligently search your life. Is everything going as God has proposed it? Are you sure there are no aspects? Yes, you are not totally sleeping. You might be dozing. You might be dozing. Why men slept? That word is very thick. So we also need to awake to take back our rights. Time will not permit. You saw the two halots. Mm. They both gave birth. They both slept. And one slept on the baby. Gosh. Waking up to claim what was not hers. Mm. So assuming the other lady did not wake, that is how the baby life would have just been terminated. Mm. So we need to stay awake so that we can defend our territory. And if by error, any of the portion has been taken, 
we need to stay awake to take them back. And finally, we need to stay awake to witness. He said, occupy till I come. Someone sleeping cannot occupy. Military men don't sleep. Even when the community are sleeping. Mm. So, dangers are looming. And remember, we are called to wake to righteousness and sin no more. Mm. Wow. 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 I just keep clapping to Jesus. It's been awesome in the studio today. Wow, Boyo. God bless you. Wow. Because of our time, Boyo, we are run out of time. What's your, just in one word, when I mean just in a sentence, don't let me just use the word one word, in a sentence, what's, what's your conclusion? What's your candid advice to the youth out there? To a viewer out there and personally to myself, I want to say God has invested so much in us. Mm. And a sleeper can lost everything, just like Samson. Mm. We need to stay awake to mm. defend our rights. Mm. We need to stay awake to take over our territory. Mm. Please, rise mm. and wake to righteousness. Wow. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Rise to righteousness. Rise to take over your territory. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. See you the same time next week in this same channel by God's grace. Be rapture ready. Bye.